Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to analyze a buckling load. We are going to calculate the critical load for the structure. So, this is the material property we have taken. Now, go here. In last case, we have solved one end fixed and other end free column. In this case, we are going to solve fixed and fixed column. So, we will do this case. Okay. Now, so I'm opening Salomaka. First, we'll model the geometry using Salomaka. So, I have taken a model of length 1.5 meter. I have taken a model of length in that direction 1.5 meter and in x and y direction it has 0.1 and 0.1 meter so this is the column i have taken the length is 1.5 meter in that direction remaining x and y direction i have taken 0.1 and 0.1 so just apply and close so this is the column i have taken just create a group to apply the load now here i'm going to fix it fix fix x y z because I'm going to fix it all the direction just apply it here I just want to apply fix in only in x and y direction just select the surface add fix y x and y because in z direction I want to apply compressive load due to that how, how the structure is getting deform just apply it the same location I'm going to apply load so just select the surface we can use the same group to avoid the confusion I'm just creating a new group here I'm going to apply a load of one clone one Newton just apply and close then one more group is volume group I'm just creating a name as beam apply and close now I have completed the creating of geometry I'm just saving this file using control s I'm just saving the same folder save it now I've saved it now we'll move into meshing go to mesh create mesh in this in previous case we have used X element here also we are going to use X element 2d quadrangle mapping Y discretization, local length, the same value I'm going to use. Compute. Now I have created the mesh. So last case we have converted this linear into quadratic element. In this case I'm going to keep this linear element. So these are the groups. We'll check these groups. Bottom, this is a fix X, Y, Z. The top is fix X, Y. The same group is the load finally beam so we'll save this file we'll export this mesh for doing static analysis first we'll do the static analysis then we'll add buckling command and we'll do the buckling analysis to create the command file for static analysis I'm going to use a software called efficient so I'm just opening this efficient using open JDK Java 8 run file so analysis type is a 3d material is cast iron cast steel 210849 this one is 7860 I'm going to assign it as beam we can give all also it will assign to all so I'm giving this volume element say add so element type is not triggered because we are using solid element go to boundary conditions ours is a phase group so we need to use mesh group one is fixed so assign to fix xyz so fix underscore xyz so fixing in x translation y translation z translation add now same mesh group only then we the top surface we need to fix it in x y so that means second going to fix 
x and y assign to fix x y so we need to fix only in x and y direction just add it here then we need to apply pressure just go to pre here loads we can apply pressure also instead we can apply force last case we have used pressure boundary condition in this case we will use force on the face only thing is it will give direction this will not give the direction so because the pressure is has only the positive pressure negative pressure but force we on the face we can use this one but the both the command will apply as the pressure only in the unit of newton per meter square so i am going to apply a load force on the face assigned to the load boundary condition is load in z direction in negative z direction so just minus 1 just add it go to output add all save the command file go to pictures code aster fixed fixed i'm giving naming as static dot comm now i have generated the command file now we'll use if asdk to run the file go to tools plugins code aster run asdk so now we'll choose the location so the folder whatever we are choosing here that should be without space if any space it will show error so i just named here code aster also with the underscore the every folder i have named as without space see there is no name so then first one is the command file to avoid error i'm just keeping the left side here the folder i'm just keeping right side the first one is command file static dot comm then we have to choose may this one is a message error resu this one is the rmd then the next file is called mesh file then we'll name it ourselves message dot mess error dot err resu dot resu here I'm going to name it as underscore static dot rmed. Now we'll save this file. So go to file, save as name we have to give. I'm just giving the same name. Just okay. Now the SDK file is also saved. Now we'll so we'll specify the memory how much we want to use. I just specifying 2 GB interactive follow up window. Now we can run this file. Before that, we'll check the command file. Because we are applied FZ in minus 1, it's not means it will apply as a pressure. This value will change into force because we need to apply force of 1 Newton. So force is equal to so 1 divided by area. So the area is in last tutorial also I have explained. In mesh also we can check. Go to measurement, basic property, area. We'll, we have to choose the mesh group not this mesh group go to load computer so the area of this mesh is 0 0.01 so now save ok the area is 0 0.01 now we have done the same variable we need to assign that now done now we can save this file so we can save run it now it is solved we can go to the folder now see whatever the file name we have specified that are generated this is the message file it is solved without any error then we can check the result file now this is the result so it, we have applied as a compressive load if you want to check the results we can check it now check the command file so this is the solve command file for static analysis now we will modify this command file to buckling analysis now just copy this command file and paste it here I'm just naming it to 
buckling just rename it just open now we i'm going to use previous buckling command file this one is the static file just copy this previous buckling command file this is the buckling command just copy this command and paste it there so now I have saved just save this file just close the previous file so now we can see the boundary condition fixed we are applied all the degree, degree of freedom fixed the next case is xy direction we are fixing it force phase in fz direction we are applying negative so minus value so this only we have specified now this boundary condition we need to add at the bottom just go here this is the result the first command it's extracting the stress field from the static analysis so this name has to be checked the stress result and result are same so we will leave this command the next command this model and f sigma so f sigma is the we are using the same name and model is the our model just go and check our model same name so we will leave this command also now material we will check this material also the same command then boundary conditions we have to add all the boundary conditions now see the first boundary condition is fixed second boundary condition is fixed in fixed xy just copy this one just go here fix xy there is one more boundary condition that is a load so this is also you just copy it and add it here now we have included all the boundary conditions these are uh, assembling the matrix this is the solver for bug uh, buckling then we are saving the result in unit 81 so we have modified the buckling command file we'll save this command file now just go to the same here ASTK now add one more one this one is the uh, save the results file buckling result file just underscore I'm just giving buckling dot rmd so i'm just giving result underscore buckling rmd to save the buckling results in 81 unit 81 because we are giving 81 here so now this is we have done now we need to change the command file now change the command file as buckling b u c k l i n g buckling dot c o m m now we have changed the buckling command file remaining are you just keep it same if you want to increase you can increase the memory now we'll run this case just run it now it has solved we'll check the folder this is the buckling folder so just leave this one just go to message now see so it has calculated critical load of 1.58 e power 7 this is the first critical load similarly it has calculated 10 critical loads so we want only the first critical load so the first critical load this is the value 1.58 e power 7 newton now we'll check the deformation how it is getting deformed so now go to paravis in the same folder we can check there is one more file called result underscore buckling dot rmt so now we'll open this file and we'll check so open pictures code aster this is the buckling results just open it just apply it go to displacement now this is the first buckling we'll see the deformation go to wrap by vector give some 50% scale 
so the 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 model will collapse the column will collapse in this way so this is the uh, deformation safe of the this critical load the first critical load now we'll change this color into rainbow this value will change into 12 so this is the way it will get deform now we'll check the shape so in fixed fixed column it will deform in this way now see our our deformation also the same now the first critical load is this one so in buckling analysis we need to check two things one is what is the critical load value this is the critical load value in Newton 1.58 e power 7 Newton we are getting and which direction it's getting deforming so this only we need to check so so in this tutorial we have learned how to solve fixed fixed end column buckling analysis thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you